Hi there, in this video, I'm going to explain to you the difference between using your manager account to receive Google Ads connections with Leadsy and using the email method. We really recommend you to use the Google manager account connection method because it makes it much simpler for your clients to connect their accounts and for you to receive access. So here's how the experience differs. At first, let me show you how easy it is for your clients to give you access to their Google Ads accounts if you're using the manager account method. So when you go to your Google integration settings, make sure that here the method of connection is manager account and that you select the right Google manager account that you want to get access to. If you don't see the right account here, you can click change Google account and then select the account that is connected to this manager account or formerly known as MCC. So once that's done, you can uh, either activate this for your standard access links and use that to get access to Google Ads, or you can use a custom request, which is what I've done here, which only requests Google Ads. So once your clients go to this access request, all they have to do is click on sign in with Google, Give the necessary permissions, which I've already done here. And then select the Google account they want to give you access to. So now you can see that it's already done and this was newly created. And we can look at whether this has actually worked by looking at our account here. So we have no managers before that. I'm going to refresh this now. And we should see that there's a manager added, which is the case exactly. So the, this Leadsy manager account is now added to the account and your clients didn't have to do anything really is, except uh, just confirm it. So the experience is super smooth and also you as the agency don't have to accept anything or confirm anything. So now let's look at the experience with the email method. So what we have to do is we go to our settings and we change this to email. And then you need to select which account do you actually want to use. And then you can also activate these settings if you want to. So I'm going to save this. I'm also going to remove this access. So I'm making sure it doesn't overlap because it's the same email address, but a different connection method. And we'll go back to our request and just log out again, refresh this. And now I will log in again with the same account. So what we see now is that in order for your client to give you access via this email method, they need to uh, make sure that your domain, the domain that they're adding is actually part of the list of the allowed domains that uh, are permitted for this account. So we try to make this super simple for them, copy this uh, domain and then click here to go to the list of allowed domains. So I'm going to follow this link now. Then they go to allowed domains. They need to add domain and add Gmail in this case and save. Once that's done, we click continue. And now it's done. So there's one more step though that you need to do as the agency. You actually need to accept this invitation that came from your client now. So there's kind of two steps here, which add a little bit of friction. So we highly recommend you to use the manager account method because it makes it much simpler for your clients. Let us know if you have any questions about this and have a nice day. Thank you.